Hello. As we said last time, today we want to learn about exit strategies. Before you buy your property, you need to know what exit strategies exist. It doesn't matter whether you are purchasing a residential property, multifamily property, commercial property or warehouse, you need to have the exit strategy in mind. What are the common exit strategies? Wholesale the property. Wholesale it to others or put it under assignment. You control the property, but you don't own it. You make your money by assigning it for a finder's fee to others. Use a rent-to-own program. Use a rent-to-own program that attracts tenant buyers to pay above market rents and creates positive cash flow with a guaranteed price at the end. Rent the property. Simply use the buy and hold strategy, rent the property as a long-term investment. Ultimately, you'll want at least two of these, one for, let's say, your child's education and the other for your child's financial independence. Buy two homes for each of your children and two homes for yourself and spouse or partner. Fix the house. Repair the house. Flip it. Sell it in a retail market. You have probably seen this on many TV programs. Although it may not be the way to go right now in a slower market, that opportunity still exists. Buy the home for yourself. Live in it. Possibly do some repairs. Sell it at retail. Take advantage of the exclusion of the capital gains tax. It's your primary property. Stay in it for one or two years, then go ahead and sell it. Make a profit at the end. You may also sell the property as a part ownership proposition. In other words, you've bought the property sell a portion of the equity on the property. Sure, you're giving up some of your equity, but you're also gaining access to cash. Another common exit strategy is carrying a note. Take an RSP loan on it. If you're not familiar with RSP investing, take a look at one of our appendices. We provide a brief overview on how you can use companies like Olympia Trust to take your RSP and invest in real estate and be paid a percentage for using our funds for an investment. Ultimately, you are the bank. When out shopping to buy an investment property, some people take too long to put together the property deal. Don't be overly concerned about getting the best deal. Focus on the best return. Is there any helpful tip to make it easier to understand? Always shopping for the best deal is like stepping over the dollars to pick up the dimes. Your time is valuable, and so is the time that your money is working for you. Make sure you do your due diligence, and you'll find the best property. We have created a system to find motivated sellers. We use this system to save you time and frustration. Why look at 100 homes to buy only one? Look at 5 or 6 homes and buy one or two. Remember, your time is valuable. Thank you for your time and discussing the third secret to real estate investing. Bye for now.